What's up guys, it's Dan Fim. Today I'm going to show you the fastest way to rank up in Black Ops 3. Uh, this is through a glitch, obviously, but um, still is the fastest way if you want to hit level 1000 and only like a, probably about the span of a week if you keep doing it. Um, I've hit 1000 as you can see doing this method and I did and I think in about, I, when I started the glitch I did it at, uh, I was at like 38 days played. And uh, by the time I was done I had 42, so it doesn't take that long of a uh, game time played but it is a uh, it's a very relatively easy glitch you do have to leave your xbox on so i do recommend having a uh if you don't have the best internet connection i'd recommend trying maybe trying a wired because that will definitely help you out so you don't lag out although if you do lag out it doesn't matter it still saves your xp but um it's just kind of a pain constantly you have to keep setting it up so the three gobble gums I recommend you get get it you uh, get is uh, Perkaholic, Shopping Free, and Extra Credit. That way you can set it up on a lower round. It's really easily, really easily done. So you can do it without them as well, but uh, it just makes stuff a lot easier. Um, otherwise, you'll have to just kind of get the skull done at a higher round. But, you know. Uh, so as you can see, I already did the skull. So all you have to do is just build the skull first, get everything done, and then. Um, what you can do here is get also two. You're going to need the parts for the gas mask, so I recommend getting that. You do not need the uh, shield. It's up to you. I'm not going to use it because I don't really need it. But uh, first thing we're going to do here is uh, mesmerize this wall. So that's the first thing you need to do. And then we're just going to have to go upstairs. So make sure you have enough points to buy the door there. To uh, buy the door for down there. Now we're just going to mesmerize the wall here. That'll open up, put it away. Also, too, we're going to quickly build the gas mask. Already grabbed all the parts for it. Actually, you know, before I end the round, I'm going to uh, get BMP ammo. But I recommend getting at least the KRM when you're going to be setting up. But uh, you can set up however you want. Just uh, get it, get to the point where you need to get the skull, pretty much. Simple as that. Uh, get the parts for the gas mask. And then just uh, build the gas mask. And then mesmerize the part that I told you to. That's all you really have to do so far. Where's this zombie at? Here's what I'll do. I have an idea. Hopefully this will stop making him a runner. Maybe not. I'll just I'll do a bunch, I guess. One's not running. So. Of course, makes another runner. <laughs> Anyways, I'm rambling on. Let me uh, let me build this uh, gas mask here, or not? Fuck that! Holy shit! Uh, okay, let's just end the round. It's only round five. I don't know why I'm complaining, but uh, again, you do want to get it done at a lower round. So um, don't really need to. Actually, you know what? I already mesmerized it. Um, there's two ways to do the glitch. I'm gonna show you the easiest way. This is uh, a lot easier than actually having to, uh, you know, cough and then do the gas mask or in the end grab the gas mask. So, um, basically we're going to be doing the unlimited skull glitch. That is, uh, how we do it. So, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that, though. Anyways, we're just going to end this the around here. I started kind of rambling on, um... Fortunately, I don't have any editing software right now, so this video is just going to be raw, just me talking, doing my thing. So, Anyways, just to also, too, make sure you don't use up all your grenades, because you will need those to uh, do the way I'm going to show you. So I have Widow's Wine. Uh, another thing I recommend getting when you're, doing, when you're setting this up is the Bowie Knife, so that is pretty much a necessity. But other than that, uh, you can use Widow's one if you want. It makes it a bit easier, but uh, it's not necessary. It's not like you don't need it. So, uh, but I'm just using it. All you really need is a uh, quick revive and jug. Those are perks I definitely recommend getting. So, ooh, nice Thrasher, Neato. Thrashers are pretty easy to kill, but. Right now, after we're done mesmerizing the wall, we kind of just want to, uh, you know, oh, not get stuck. That's one thing. We want to get enough points to, uh, you know, build up the uh, skull again. And here we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the skull, press RB to pull out a grenade, and then press Y. As you can see, it's glitched out. It says it's at zero. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain the skull all the way down here, down to a little bit. So this will take a few rounds, usually, if you're on the low rounds. <clears throat> you kind of want to do it in the low rounds, because eventually your bowie knife just, you know, doesn't kill anything. So. Going to go around killing everything here. And also to do not uh, put the skull away, or do, also to don't throw a grenade either, because that will uh, that will break your skull, and it will be normal again. Also, too, if you don't have the if you don't have the gas mask and you walk into a place where you cough, you're fucked. So that's make sure you have the gas mask at this point, and you have the skull all glitched out. Bring it over there. <coughs> but yeah, doing this glitch, I've gotten like um, when I did it when I when I was Master Prestige doing this, it took me about I think in like two days of leaving my game on, I was like 300 levels up. So it does rank you up really fast. If you're only looking to go, let's say you're like level uh, level one right now. You can uh, get level 35 in like just a few hours, so. You can get through the prestiges pretty fast. You could probably hit 35, leave the game, prestige, do it again, and like get maybe 10th in like, I don't know, maybe like a day. So. But uh, from like Master to 1000, I'd say that'd probably take like two to three games of running it. To, um, trying to say maybe like. Running it for two days, or three days a piece. So, you get, let's say, I'm gonna say around it about about a hundred levels a day, but probably inaccurate. Just running off of what I got. Ranks yet yeah, pretty fast though. Don't think there's any other glitch that uh does it any quicker. Uh, if there is, let me know. I'll do an updated tutorial. But uh, this is. Again, pretty sure the fastest method. So. so what I want to do is too. You want to make sure you don't kill every zombie. Kind of want to leave a few. So I'm gonna hopefully, yeah. Might have to do it next round. I'll just try knifing these ones. Huh, I guess that wasn't the last one. Oh, okay. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna knife this one. Try to run this down a bit more. Alright. Yeah, then I'm just gonna knife this guy. So we're really close to drain now, so what you wanna kinda do is you kinda wanna get a horde of zombies together. And then uh, save one. What I usually do is I try to get one zombie behind me, and then kill the horde, knife the one behind me. So that's what I'm gonna try to go for, hopefully. This is why Widows makes it a lot easier, because you can just, you know, Widow the zombie, kill the horde, and then uh, just turn around and knife him. So. so I'm waiting for, oh, there's, there's one like that, so let me kill those. Oh, I guess it's not enough just yet. Alright, so there's one over there, so let's kill the horde here, like that. As soon as you get that, just knife the zombie, there we go. As soon as you get that little blue dot... And then you just have to constantly be killing zombies here. As you can see, it is turning around. Also, don't grab the death machine. That is a no-no. So. Right here, we're just going to try to uh, fill the skull up as much as we can. From uh, reverse. And um, after that, we can go in the spot we're going to sit in. Now, there's two things you can do. If you have the shield, you can go in the skull room and spin around. However, uh, I, I've never tried that, so I don't know how well that works. But um, I'm going to show you the, the way I do it, which I'm pretty sure most people do. I know a lot of people on PlayStation tend to do the uh, spinning thing, but for some reason, I I don't know. I don't haven't seen anyone do it on Xbox. Might be because I'm thinking 
maybe it's a thumbstick thing because every I've seen one person do it, and with their thumbstick, it just like you know, it just like eventually it'll spin like this, and eventually it'll just start turning them down, which will fuck it up. So, if you're on PlayStation, I'd say go down in the uh, you know, in the room with the shield. And uh, if you're on Xbox, I'm gonna show you where to go. I not sure about PC, probably the same, I'd say. PC, however. Yeah, no, no, PC, do the what, do what I'm gonna do, because you can't really spin unless you're using a controller. Okay. Anyways, round's over here, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here. We're gonna aim at the grate here. It doesn't really matter what part of the grate you aim at. You just uh, kind of sit here and kills them about the same amount anyways. So. so you just sit here, get a uh, coin or something, stick it in your controller, and the trigger... And you're good to go. Make sure you also to make sure you leave your controller plugged in, because uh, if it dies, you have a bad day. So we're just gonna sit here, make sure nothing happens. But uh, this is pretty much it. That's all you really have to do. Um, second thing I recommend is uh, wait till you get past. Like, sit here, watch till it gets into the 30s, because sometimes around around uh in the 30s or something uh sometimes it's even in like the uh, tens 15s it'll uh kind of fuck up and um it'll spawn an unlimited thrasher you'll see him in like uh usually in this corner here like right around this area um all you have to do there is just uh let go of your trigger run up and knife him that's only if you stand there because eventually he'll just drain your whole skull and it'll put it away which kind of defeats the purpose of, you know, the Unlimited Skull. But, uh, pretty much good here, guys. Just, uh, sit here, aim at any part of the grate you want. So, and, uh, you're good. Just, uh, ranks up you that way. And, uh, you're all set. So, uh, then just repeat this every time you're done. Every time you, uh, want to rank up, want to end your game and rank up more. So, if it lags out, doesn't matter. You can just set it up again. Saves the XP. That's how the game works. And uh, once you're all set, or you want to get the level you want, you can just uh, dashboard. So, that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, get prepared for some uh, Black Ops 4 videos when uh, that shit drops. So, take it easy, guys. Peace out.